Hi guys, <laughs> I am doing my first tutorial. Uh, this request came from Instagram. People have asked me how I do my curls. They're with a flat iron and it took me a while to master. So I figured I would share how I do it with you and I hope you enjoy. The key to doing this is to do it in sections, is to straighten the ends of your hair. You do not have to straighten your entire hair because I know we're all worried about heat damage and the curls. When you are, let's say you're a righty like myself, if you're doing it on the opposite side, you're gonna kind of reach over your head like this and you are gonna turn counterclockwise and you're gonna pull towards your chin like this. It's much easier to do this if you're in a mirror. Then if you're on your right side, you take the piece do like this and you're going to turn clockwise and pull forward. So it's just this. Flink. And I will say it takes a lot of practice. It took me a while to kind of master this, but I like it because it worked when I had really short hair. And now that my hair is getting longer, I think it still works really well. It's a very easy solution. And if you travel a lot, you only have to take a flat iron. You don't need a curling iron and a flat iron. So it's worth mastering. I separate out my hair usually like half and half. So half up, half down so I can get these bottom chunks. Um, some people have told me over the years, you don't like have to spend as much time on the bottom half because the top half of your hair will cover it. But, um, I tend to flip my hair back and forth and all this stuff. So it's easier if I just do the whole thing. So there's two kind of key things to know. One, to do the flat iron curls where it's sort of straight at the bottom and doesn't make you look like Shirley Temple, you do have to straighten the ends a bit. So I use a flat iron for the whole thing, no curling iron. I just have this Remington iron, it's gold and sparkly, but I got it at Target, it was like 15 bucks. Um, and what I'll do is I go through and I just kind of straighten the ends. Um, it's a quick thing, I try not to put too much heat on it for too long, but to get those straight ends, I kind of quickly run it through, section it out. So I like to section them in almost like vertical sections. Um, they can be relatively big, but you don't want to be too big. Um, otherwise, the iron just isn't that effective. So I am doing what is my left side of the head. And to do this, I actually turn the flat iron upside down like this. So you do this motion like this, and you clamp it on, and then you twist. And you pull forward like towards your chin and let go. And then you get that little curl. Okay, so I'm finally on the right side of my head. And so I'm already, my dominant hand is this way. So you're actually gonna keep the iron upright on this side and you're gonna pull forward. So instead of going that counterclockwise motion, it's gonna be a clockwise turn, but it's still that pull forward towards, towards your chin. So I've got a couple more sections on this side. And okay. So you're gonna pull this section out You're gonna iron over it and twist and pull forward. Might be a little easier to show you on this front piece. Okay. All right. So clamp, turn, and just pull forward. And figuring this out just takes a little work in terms of like how much you turn the iron is going to change how curly the hair ends up. Um, the one thing I will say is do not like pull at the curls yet. Um, the best tip I got was to let them cool down and then at the end we'll go into dry shampoo and shake it out and you get sort of that like big volume disheveled curls look. Okay, so as you can see from that time lapse, from this look right here, I have done all my curls, um, and I will part them to the correct side. I, I respect people who can pull off the middle part. I cannot, that's just never been one of my things. Um, and sometimes, because I do this sort of sloppily, I will find like a little stray, hairs that I forgot to curl, so leave your iron on. 
Remember, it's just easy motion. Okay, so I use Dry Bar's Detox Dry Shampoo. It's awesome. Um, I'm actually running low, so I need to get it. But I always have my big bottle at home, and I like to have a travel size to take with me to the gym. Um, these curls will last me like two or three days, assuming I just dry shampoo, um, wear my shower cap in the shower. They stay in pretty good shape. So anyway, that's my really quick tutorial on how I curl my hair. I'm going to quickly recap. Okay, the key to doing this is to do it in sections, is to straighten the ends of your hair. You do not have to straighten your entire hair because I know we're all worried about heat damage. And the curls. When you are, let's say you're a righty, like myself, if you're doing it on the opposite side, you're going to kind of reach over your head like this, and you are going to turn counterclockwise and you're gonna to pull towards your chin like this. It's much easier to do this if you're in a mirror. Then, if you're on your right side, you take the piece, do like this, and you're gonna turn clockwise and pull forward. So it's just this, Flink. And I will say it takes a lot of practice. It took me a while to kind of master this, but I like it because it worked when I had really short hair, and now that my hair's getting longer, I think it still works really well. It's a very easy solution, and if you travel a lot, you only have to take a flat iron. You don't need a curling iron and a flat iron, so. It's worth mastering. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful and maybe I'll be doing more of these. So let me know what you want to see. <laughs>